So, Feedback Gaming, the popular Hoi4 exploiter, he hosted a Hoi4 tournament. Basically, a pure 1v1 Hoi4 tournament on a custom map similar to the Africa tournament I played earlier. So this map is in Europe and is completely focused on land micro. So since I'm dank as me because after all, I decided I had to join Feedback's tournament. But I didn't want anybody to know it was me. But rather than doing it as Dankus, I decided to do it as an undercover player. So nobody would expect the eSports that was about to happen. So yeah, it's kind of sus. My profile is kind of sus. Blowmaster <laughs> Discord member since February 22nd, 2023. Feedback Gaming's bracket looks like this. So he didn't get the full 32 players for the tournament. So therefore, some people don't have to play their first match. And I'm one of them. So I was just waiting here and then the hydrogen guy won his game. The strat is as follows. Manpower spam. Now, I know it's not the smartest, but neither am I. Bro, how does he have 16 to that many mills, huh? Is he converting? He's not. Yeah, he didn't do an agency and we did. We should be able to see his focuses soon. Five days. Let's pray, dude. Let's pray. He's 26 on air? Is he doing shit fighters or something? There you go. Let's see. What the fuck is it doing? Okay, this kind of worked out. Okay, I'm not sure what he's doing exactly, but yeah. He only has 69 fighters. My fighters should be better than this also. He's doing arty units, but yeah. I think if I can get enough info quickly enough. What's he doing down here? Um, okay. Well, I guess kill the first two divisions of the war. Look at the Casco Burr, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't think he's pushing shit when we have casts, so... We're gonna go up on cast to 10. Maybe a bit overkill, but uh, I don't care, dude. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> he has over 100 casts. Yeah, yeah, that's the US starting cast. I think I'll just keep the cast over here. Soon the cast comes into the battles and then he's just, yeah, look at this already, already. And he's producing his own cast by now. He only has 15 on air. Yeah, he, he has given up the air war, but that doesn't help him. When my 10 wits have this much defense, what? Yeah, I don't know, dude. It ain't looking good for Mr. US here. This is the strat though, chat. Like chat, I'm talking into chat when there's no chat. I'm amazing. We have an org wall with Cass. That's a strat. And we're getting a second big division in here. You won't like that. Yeah, no way he's breaking that now. <laughs> I could kill him. Like, I I'm gonna wait so I have a safe amount of Cass. To me, it's very funny because we, <laughs> we already have such a huge force. We're getting way more air now. Like, it's crazy the amount of air we'll have here. Like, my units are objectively shit, right? But it's just the Cass holding everything. It's holding it all together. Soon we have 10 divisions per tile, what's he gonna do? I'm literally gonna battle plan when we have enough divisions. He has Arsenal of Democracy already, so production war isn't really great for me, although he doesn't have resources to do a production war. Okay, he's gonna break this. Come on, hold, hold, hold. Okay, we're just gonna hold the entire wall. Yeah, I don't think he has a chance of pushing though. Our recovery rate has now risen to like Omega ranks. Damn, okay. Well, we can just reinforce with Cass. He's force attacking and he's for stacking in here, is he? Yeah, well, Cass will do its job. It sure is, look at this damage. <laughs> buddy, not happening. Yeah, buddy, <laughs> And we'll start the battle plan. Well, I'd say a successful, like, uh, game here, yeah. Look how much air we got, dude. And it's all relying on air. <sighs> big encirclement, very big encirclement. <sighs> look at this beautiful cast damage in here. Thinking he's gonna break out? Lol. I don't know. <laughs> he's gonna cap soon. Yeah, there you go. GG. My uh, schizophrenic alter ego somehow started a The Voices chant on the Feedback Gaming Discord. Now it's always important to wish each other good luck when uh, you go into 1v1 and shit. Although probably don't include The Voices. All right, it's the best of one. I gotta, I gotta play good here, dude. Oh man, this looks so goofy, these new symbols, right? Like, you have your own player profile, and then you have this, like, goggle. If <laughs> you're a spectator, it's so huge. It's too big, in my opinion, but I guess, ugh, oh, I don't know. So we're looking at chat when I want to look at chat, and there's no chat, because I'm recording, because I don't want to get, you know, stream sniped. They can still stream snipe that on Dave's stream, right? But they, at least they won't know it's me. Has he started picking air guy? No, but he did pick a mill guy. He's literally nothing on air. Yeah, we're going up to eight on cast easily. Okay. Let's go. Fucking rush, bro. Rush B. Bro. Get to Frankfurt. Oh, man. Okay. This will be harder to hold than I thought. At least we have Frankfurt, okay? That's what matters here. Whoa, we actually got pushed out of there? I didn't pay attention this time. Oh, yeah. Fucking knew something was gonna happen. Some bullshit. That's gonna die. Whoa, he's also having cast here now? Jesus. 
There we go. We're gonna push them out of that tile so we don't have to worry about that on the river. Now we're gonna focus our air on the actual fighting. Yeah, <laughs> good luck. All right, Strover for Copers. I mean, I got the river down. I got the two VPs, so I just gotta thicken up my defense and then we're good. <laughs> How is he gonna do anything here? Like, honestly, boy, boy, boy. Okay, well, I'll finish this man. Bro, I'm not even sure they're gonna be able to get through my 10 woods here with all their men because we have just, well, Aaron Cass. Oh, he just deployed a bunch of more units, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, and now we're gonna do an offensive in the south too. It's Strover for him. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like, our cast is just mega strong. Duh, look at my cast damage in this battle. We're gonna break across into the Rhineer. I'm gonna move the cast for a second. This will be such a funny front, right? Because I'm just gonna break through the very south. And he actually is breaking through up here now. So I'll need to move back the cast once this battle is done. Oh, cutting this open. All right, nice pocket. Okay, we'll start spreading out down here. Yeah, I'm just go for it. Okay, okay, we're gonna move this air here. Here we go, all over France. I like the south push we did here. Like, it was really just damaging to them. Ugh, you know what? We hold for now. We at least have them over just one air zone now. No shot, right? No shot. Yeah, no shot. Look at this cast damage. I look at our defense and shit in here. Yeah, no shot. I mean, I. I could probably just battle plan now, right? I mean, yeah, I'll just fix the battle plan order. I don't know what that is. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? All right, let's go. Battle plan is on. Casco birded. And there you go. <laughs> Paris is gone in a second. And he thinks he's gonna break through the cast wall. Ain't no way, buddy. Ain't no way. It went fine anyhow, I guess. GG. That was a bit longer of a game, I think, than last game. But yeah, damn. The cast is just so strong, dude. GG. All right, so third game has begun, and this is apparently, yeah, the, the semifinals already. Imagine if I can play Axis all the way to the finals. It'd be awesome. It's building ships? Might have to double my garrisons for this run. Damn, he's going high on air. I can blast music. I'm alone, dude. No stream. This is the final between Segel and the Blowmaster. The best of three with a new upcomer, the Blowmaster. Will he blow him away or will he get blown out? We're going to find out. So Blowmaster, obviously, he always chooses heads, you know, always head. I always got to choose head as Blowmaster, you know. I'm very nervous. The voices. Now we're like spreading the word of the voices. All right. I want to play this banger music now. I am schizophrenic! Woo! Attack genius, probably the US. Rolling error guy again. Doesn't have as much as me on air. Yeah, we're doing this much on cast. If he's gonna do that little. He's still gonna be dangerous, I think. Made it to the finals, and the other guys weren't bad, so. 30 days to lore, let's go. He got all the advisors already. I only have one, so already got that one. He has a lot of divs. I have more, but these are probably more likely, more than likely better. Oh fuck, he has a tank in there, and I didn't take the tile. Okay, now this might be a different game. Köln is also being wrecked. Hello, take the empty tiles. Hello. Yeah, wake up, go by them. Alright, he doesn't have any cast up, so I'll just fight us air here, I guess. Why do we even have divisions here? Like, not necessary. Oh, wow. He has Cass up now? He really wants to push up here. Yeah, I guess we just fight him in his air zone then. He keeps switching the air. He's doing 20 wits, yeah. Actually, let's force air over here and try something. Oh, okay. Never mind. Guess we want to get out of this air zone then. Blue green air. I don't feel like I'm exploiting that he's not even, like, covering his shit, you know? He went up on air a lot, yeah. Okay, we move this air here. Whoa, I got in circle there? That's bad. Man, he's casting me in this air zone too. Like, not okay, dude. Oh yeah, because that's his air zone. Okay, well. Hello? Click. Hey. That would absolutely push him over the edge. And every single one of these exchanges that happen in Northwest Germany would be massive. 
But I mean, to be fair, right now, they're massive as it is. Don't forget, if he doesn't get in his circle, it's not the end of the world because he's trading advantageously, meaning he's taking less losses manpower-wise and less losses equipment-wise. So every one of these battles, even though they're back and forth, back and forth, the real winner is the allies because the truth is he's winning these exchanges in more of a clean fashion we are seeing a slight micro advantage here from blow mass and you can see it really clearly he's micro his troops just a little bit smarter and that's where there'll be a situation where seagull might be in a position where he's going to take losses like this he's last standing oh desperation another division's in a really advantageous state and he's lost it too the counter-attack is so unbelievably strong. Blowmaster, he's blowing them away with the amount of cast power he currently has. And we're basically back to the borders we were at the very start of the game. This is an interesting distraction. I'm not sure if I approve of it. He needs to be holding his key victory point here. I bet he's kicking himself right now that he didn't choose to build a fort in Holland. That would have been a perfect location for it. Gotta hurry up here soon. Lucky this guy plays with last dance and shit. Yeah, he moved all the air here. Look at the cast damage go, man. He last stands the entire front line when he gets attacked. Yeah, he's holding for now. I'll have to do a bit better here to actually get through. Dude, I'm trading horribly. I don't want to do that. Just want to give cast. He has so good air right now. He has two good stats here, yeah. Or at least across the river down here. Maybe here we can break him, yeah. Okay, we're breaking across here. It's not over yet. He has nine divisions on Cone. Allies win? Yeah, I did good. I shouldn't have gotten him the early pusher. I should have held on to this. Then he couldn't have broken. I don't know what kind of fighter he made, though. That's what I'm wondering here. Because that shit, he produced a lot of it. It performed okay, but he got no green air with it. Best of three. We come back from these. Allies are stronger, generally speaking. Axis is better positioned. Allies have way better advisors and stuff. I guess, yeah, we go allies. Okay, now we're allies. We do the same thing, but we play for the USA. We want to hold the river, but also have Amsterdam. So we're going to do the 10 with spam yet again. Try to see if it works better on allies. Actually, I'll do what he did. I'm not going to fight down there. Yeah, I don't want to take any of this in reality, right? Because I don't want to have to garrison it. And I guess want to hold this river here in Metz. I just know this pick might be better because he seems to like allies a lot. And then I want to cock him from playing allies, you know? It starts and securing that Holland victory point. He has the tank division. This is the very first time we've seen Blowmaster with a tank division. It looks like Seagull is doing the exact same thing he did before. The artillery infantry. Blowmaster is controlling the game, controlling the two victory points of Rhineland as well as Holland. Breaking through this little narrow corridor of the Friesland Forest struggling however having a little bit more luck in the center than they were having around this region meanwhile the tank division is doing lots of damage here oh and they've broken it wow i really didn't think that was going to happen in this situation he needs to continue the assault continue the push keep applying pressure he's in a good situation once again he's got divisions that have the soft attack he has the firepower and he's going for rhineland why is he going for rhineland surely amsterdam's easy to access at this point so if there's anything been learned from the previous game that this southern area is just free real estate you know they're the risky situation though leaving this eastern flank open because he could potentially get encircled and have supply problems he needs to be securing the supply depots otherwise it's going to be a loss really struggling to break here oh getting some success in the south here this is going to be a good opportunity for a break he's pinning he's pinning well done ah oh, is he gonna wow okay that's big he's in a position too he does he's not aware of it but he's in a position right now where he has way better stats on his infantry divisions and he's able to do so much more damage oh and he's moving south because there's a gap oh straight away a division fills it out but then intensely gets beaten and bad and bruised he's going for the encirclement on rhineland oh that's so good so right now we're not seeing him control all this firepower on holland he's actually trying to get the encirclement on rhineland and he's going for it he's actually going for it he's pushing southwards and he is oh is he winning no he's holding the allies are holding right now, so he's not going to be able to get the full encirclement. However, it doesn't matter because he can now secure Rhineland because he can flank from multiple angles and the combat width will be so unbelievably massive. There'll be so much firepower. Ooh, the counterattack. Oh, the pocket has been closed just based on pure firepower. I mean, in that situation, he's in a good spot because he can attack from multiple angles and have a very wide combat width. And he is, he's making the push on Rhineland at the moment. And it looks like he's going to hold. Rhineland is being held by Blue. 
Blowmaster. I think the Air Force is making the big difference here. US Infantry Division. Marines. Oh my goodness. So much soft attack. This is a division that can do so much damage. He's going for the push on Rhineland, but he can't get it. This game is not over. And I feel like for the most part, neither player has really pushed and gone all the way with this. Interesting push southwards here. This is a good distraction once again, because this is another opportunity to just cause a lot of damage. But he's holding all the front seats, pushing in the south. It's working. It, very interesting. We're attacking and simultaneously last standing at the same time. Pushing westward and pushing deeper into the front lines is actually going to be a better situation. The big boy is defending Rhineland, holding the victory point, which makes sense, I guess. Oh! We have a counter encirclement. The Marine is making all the difference here. We're in the second phase of this game now. And I feel like the advantage definitely was Seagull to begin with. But now we're seeing a big fat blow master advantage for the last 150 days. And with the fact that they control still two victory points, it's not looking too good for Seagull. The counter attack is big. He's last standing. Uh, not sure if I agree with that decision. Seagull's in a position where I don't think he can push back. Oh, what have we got going on here? This is something I talked about so often. This Southern Front has a nice opportunity for a beautiful distraction, and he's gone for it. This could go either way, and it is looking like it's going the way I expected. <laughs> this is an easy, easy encirclement. And losing so many divisions, particularly these big, fat divisions, too. Oh, he's going for the push on Holland. Oh, there's so much action happening here. So right now, it looks like he is going to get the secure on Holland. He's about to break off. Oh. Frankfurt is exposed because it's close to the front line. All the action is happening here. This is a very insecure location. If he gets an encirclement and pushes around, it's going to be devastating. He has managed to reinforce Amsterdam and he's been forced to do a last stand. Yeah, I think he's probably just aware of what was happening there. And he's managed to just do the big boosh. Once again, this is not going to lead anywhere. This is not going to make a big difference to the game overall. But what this will do is just create a distraction where he can push in and cause chaos. And he is doing exactly that. And the counter-attack has happened. And now we're seeing the biggest encirclement happen ever. <laughs> I think he's actually going to go for the cap. Slow and steady wins the race. He went for the long game. And he was blessed with it. Because right now, he is completely demolishing them. And he's in a position now that there's no easy way of encircling this. He has completely wrapped around him. And he's in a really good spot. Is he, <laughs> is he trying to liberate Amsterdam? G. G. All right. That one better. <laughs> Blowmaster makes the blow comeback. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I forced them off axis. I feel so bad, dude. <laughs> All right. Music on. Esport on. I'm just going to do the same thing. Blowmaster. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why I find it funny. I think I'm going to do the same again. It was good. It was sufficient. I only need Amsterdam and Köln. If I can just take and hold them both. But yeah, I beat him. I beat him in the air world last time. I think I'm going to do the same. Airwise, he didn't even go for cast. I just needed my fighters up for my cast to be up and cast is king. Yeah, I think I go for the defense guy again. I, I don't even think that Marine was particularly useful. If you can't predict what I'm doing at this point, <laughs> blow mess that didn't blow shit this game. I'm gonna do 15 on fighters again. He does nothing on air so far. And I need to start spamming units. He hasn't got on the mills yet though. He's gonna go for a rush, pretty sure. Considering his mill count here, everything on guns, one on tanks, then yeah, I, I, that's it, that's it. Can't really play for the long game against the US, so. Still don't know what he's doing. Probably Germany. He's going mobile war. Yeah, it's a Germany build. He's gonna have a heavy tank. That also means he doesn't have fighters, unless he's still Italy. Okay, he's also rushing. Yeah, he's Germany. Yeah, we should be able to hold this. Uh, I'm gonna move the cast into this airport. What is his divisions? Thought he's port. He actually has line already in his divs. Is he adding engineers and shit? Okay, he's adding more and more already into his divs. Oh, damn. Yeah, okay. We have 100 more casts here. Is he, like, increasing resistance or something? What is he going for here? I don't get it. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to push. Pretty sure. So we've got a push in the south here. We've got a little bit of movement. I presume he's trying to get a reaction out of him. So we have Germany versus USA. It basically is the Battle of the Bulge. And we knew how that went, right? 
This is almost like a bit of an instant replay of the previous game. And surprisingly, he's going for it. He is actually going for it. Why is he last standing? Is he just trying to save these divisions here? This is a bit of a strange decision. And he straight away spots it. And he immediately puts divisions into position. Oh, and he's pushing on Frankfurt. Frankfurt is getting pushed. Sorry, you ignoring that. Last stand. Three days, four days. He needs to move his divisions around right now. He's going to be in a really bad state. The minute the last stand ends, though, this is going to break. Oh, my my goodness i thought that was going to be a hold so from my perspective here i think the air power is making all the difference low master for victory low master is going for the w you can see him snaking into mainland germany he's going for that w you already know not going any air plus his doom like he legit would have had a chance if he didn't do that so here's the german heavy tank let's boomba with cas my tanks here okay going for the pocket we're going for it come on He's getting out. That's kind of fine if he does. He's out of fuel. He's coping. He's coping. The sports boys. <laughs> Did he start producing air by the end? Nah. He didn't realize. He lacks the critical information. Casco burr, dude. Dankus the voices mimicus. He's gonna cap before the game tells it it's over. Spend the fighters for more manpower. Did he heavy die or something? I don't even know. Oh, there you go. The very first game, Siegel had a massive advantage on the infantry front, just winning those slow infantry battles in the long run. But the honest truth is, uh, when it comes down to overall skill, micro capabilities, it did seem like Blowmaster did blow them all away. <laughs> he landed behind him. <laughs> Here he comes! Save the day! Oh, it's a base race! Oh shit, it's like StarCraft, the old days of StarCraft. Wait. Oh, lol. I'm gonna realize before it's too late and I get memed. Even bringing home some cast to kill this off quicker. Esports! GG to the Segel guy here. Yeah. He played well though. He was the only one who beat me. That you can say. And it did look dire. Being down one round in a best of three is just... Hello, hello, hello. Congratulations. Hello. How do you feel about your big win? Very good. Very good. Okay, okay. What do you think made the difference between you and all your opponents today? That I'm blow master. What makes you the blow master? I blow real good. But what is it that you blow? Um, TOS. Mr. Blowmaster, you did definitely blow them all the way. You didn't blow out, you blowed up, and you blow them all away. Congratulations on your win. Do you? You like the video? Subscribe. And watch these videos.